morning floss tube. Clumsy Stitcher here, back for another update, and it's early. <laughs> Pouring this before I go to work. While the cuddle bunny is not here. Been bitten by something again. The weather's improved, and I'm now a chew toy for bugs. Which is great because where I work now there seems to be tons of them because I've always got a new book bag. Anyway, so progress wise, it's been not too bad, it is more than great. <laughs> and I have excuses. <laughs> Week one was my black work week. So it was Box of Delights with a new star being a black work dragon. Oh, one sec. I just found a needle on the floor. too badly for week one which is good um work wise I was doing middle shifts so a good chunk of the day was gone like, I quite like doing either evening evenings or openings because then you got a good chunk either before or after. But when you do mills, you haven't really got a decent chunk either side. Alright, don't ask me why. But the middle fingers on both hands keep dislocating on me at the moment. Not only a little. Just enough to be annoying, not enough to be like, quick, get me to the hospital, it's at a really funky angle. Alan, grab, grab, pull, jump's good. Um, but my stitching did get interrupted. <laughs> and it did affect. Anyway, so. Week one, I did get a decent amount done, not as much as I would have liked, but a decent. So, here is where I go up to on my box of delights. Oh joy, a pop up. Gone, foul demon. Um, yeah, it's got this blood done. Would have quite liked to have gotten this done too, but. And I was missing two. Well, I'll shy two different colours. I was going to use the silk left over from that special piece I did. I couldn't find it. I found it after. Um, so I just used two colours that I used higher up. I can't remember the names of any of the colours. I think it's those two. That were repeated. And it's gone. It didn't take me too long to do. I did that on Tuesday. I don't think I actually did anything on the Monday. And could have even been the Wednesday. Then it was on. To starting this, which gave me some serious problems. I couldn't actually find 
piece of 22 count that was like cut and ready couldn't find it so I ready my even weave supply Uh, 27 count even weave. Now, this is done using two different colours of Krennic. I've discovered that Krennic is evil. I'm not a huge fan of it. But hey, I've tried it, I got it, I'm gonna use it. Weirdly enough, so far I haven't had any problems with Krennic, even though I've only done two stitches. Um, when it comes to Heather, aka Mini Spinnerette, that's been fine. Mind you, it's different thicknesses. One in Heather's a bit thicker. This is horrible stuff. Really not a fan. That's really separating out. It's worse. I find it's more annoying than Tim Seaman Tuck. It's me personally. If I do like a few stitches, then I have to rip it out, get a new piece, try again. So I didn't go very far. So just like the horn, the ear, there's the eye. Not very far. It doesn't really look like anything yet. I will keep going till it looks like something. I will finish it. Of course, for that, I wasn't having an easy time with the Krennic. Didn't exactly motivate me to do it. And as I'm sure some of you are aware, Mass Effect Andromeda very recently came out. And in preparation for that, me and Cuddle Bunny went out and got an Xbox. Like the sensible grown ups that we are. And, um. That weekend, all I did was play in the Xbox. <laughs> Actually, for a good chunk of the next week. And the next week's project. Rules. The one I'm really not liking them. The one I'm doing for my dad. And as it's for my dad, I will finish it. In about 12 years time, go off my current pace. But it will be done. Like I say, most of playing on the Xbox. Not that I was at all avoiding working on the docky. <laughs> to be honest, I think I only stitched on it like one day. I think that I really just finished off a square, did two squares, and a bit of the next. So, um, the eyes made in appearance, it actually looks better looking on the screen than it does in reality. It looks crappy in reality. It looks better now that I've got more in it. I'll give it that. The more contrast that there is, the better it is looking. So it's not quite as annoying to work on. It still doesn't look like the picture though. But it does look better. The eyes are a bit boring though. I normally really look forward to doing the eyes. But nothing really brings the piece alive. Okay. So, when it comes to Mass Effect Andromeda, what me and Cuddle Bunny are doing is, um, he has the controls, and the two of us like 
decide what happens. By the way, character would survive longer if I would if I had the control. He dies all the time. It's like, will you get into some cover? Aim before you shoot. <laughs> I do have so much better at this than you. So, came out on Friday. At least in the UK. I don't know about anywhere else. Came out on Friday. Didn't do any stitching whatsoever on Friday. But Saturday and Sunday, I did. So it was mini spinnerette. All I needed to stitch. Come here, you. Oh, this is heck with the clamp on it. I needed to stitch the better part of um, three columns to finish up the page. On Saturday, I did around about 800 stitches and Sunday I did around about 12 and I finished the page and I did not all sit up a little bit later to finish it but there we are one page finished and it's looking epic the next page, which obviously continues the whole circle, is almost a full page. There's still a bit of negative space up here. Like it almost touches at the top. So it's almost full. But the fairy space appear about there. And the next page. Got to say that considering that I'm just doing this at weekend. I'm rather impressed with the pace. To give me through that um, two out of three weekends, it's at the end of a long working week. One of those three, I'm in work. Oh yeah, I now have three needle minders in this one. That one for my needle. That one to hold the chart that I'm working on, and that one to hold the next page down. I'm going to get to use more of the sparkly clinic on this page. Sparkly clinic that's actually usable. This week, it is the town of Blood. And I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video or not, but there's supposed to be like maybe 15 more stitches across. I'm not going to bother with it. It's too close to the edge. I'm just going to cut off the last page. Good. It doesn't really add anything to the picture. It's not like there's something of vital importance there. It's not like as if I was to cut out 15 pages around here, 15 stitches around here, squish it together and you'd lose an eye. That's just the background all the way down, so I don't really begrudge losing it. The shame that I have to do that, but hey, can you finish up that a little bit quicker? So, obviously, I want to finish this row. Be good if I could get this row done too. to where I can scroll it down and start working on the next page. Next page is down because she appears. But not this week. Obviously we need to be the next at the weekend. 
I'm not working this weekend and next weekend. So I should be able to get a good amount of uninterrupted stitching done. Ugh, I'm going to have to get ready for work in a minute. Um, week two. The return of my forest walk story keeper. And with any luck, I can get this finished. Because after all, I got a hell of a lot done last time I worked on it. Hopefully, walk it and finish it. And it'll be my first finished page. So, I best make tracks before I make for work. So you can clearly tell I ain't, I ain't dressed for it. So, adios y'alls. Happy stitching.